Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody. You saw my intro. You know who I am. So let's get started with the video. Today, first of all, I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas and everything on this Christmas Eve. Getting ready for tomorrow. For me, it's kind of just another day. Christmas to me is mostly just for the kids, you know. But I've never been the type to get like depressed around Christmas time or anything like that. But anyways, I hope you're all going to have a great Christmas. And today we're going to check one out from a channel called That Is Impossible. And this is the most unexplained and creepy camping videos you will ever see. So let's check this out. Hi, I'm James LaFer, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at unexplained and strange videos, camping videos. Sometimes strange things happen deep in the woods. Don't forget to check out my new shorts channel, link is under the description. And if you want to send me strange videos or pictures, that impossible channel at gmail.com. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Show this guy some love. Subscribe to his channel. It's a really good channel. It's got some really good stuff on there. Not too long ago, mobile phones, television, and big cities didn't exist the way they do today. And people had more time to watch the sky full of stars and wonder about all those things that might just be hiding up there. seen that I think on another video this isn't in the woods so it looks like it's coming out it looks like it's getting more oh my god what the man the thing is nowadays the perfect place and time to watch the sky and stars would be camping deep in the woods and one would have to ask themselves if to this day, there isn't exactly many videos or photos of people who went camping and accidentally captured something strange in the sky. And well, there are. And I guess that one of the best videos out there was captured by Homestead Howe YouTube channel. Now Homestead Howe YouTube channel is based in Montello, Wisconsin, which is a very small and quiet town with a population of only 1500 people. I mean, it's That's really small. small. And their YouTube really channel small. is focused on a family of six who left the city to live and grow on 20 acres of land. And while taking pictures in one fine night, this happened. Check this out. Last night it was too cloudy. The, the I town I'm in has 10,000 and it's the house. I tried to do a time lapse where I set the camera up and I literally, this is 700 pictures of our house. Look, here's a close up. Can you see it on you there? You can show it on the screen. Kind of, not really. I'll show it on the screen. You can see the stars and you can see the clouds and the clouds are moving. And then I combine the 700 pictures together to make it. Homestead Howe explains how he was trying to take pictures of the Milky Way hey, on somewhat a cloudy day. When all of a sudden he captured something he couldn't explain. And this is what he caught on camera. I want, I just want an explanation for what it is. Go up, more This is the original photo out of my camera. No way. Go to no 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 no. Look, does that look like an airplane to you? No, it looks a like a helicopter, light. a drone. It is like a red It's not my light drone. Light. It looks like okay, a watch. Light a watch. Here's where it gets scarier. Light. Watch this. Watch. Oh. Look at the light coming off. I'm Homestead Howe was able to take hmm. four or five pictures of this unknown and mysterious object. The thing is, when this video was first uploaded to YouTube, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and there was a very strong debate amongst internet users whether this is a helicopter or an airplane, it's not a, helicopter. a long exposure photograph, or if this is indeed a mysterious object caught on camera. I myself at first thought it could be a helicopter or an airplane. This is until I saw the rest of the video where he zooms in the object and it becomes quite clear that this might actually be something entirely different. 
Check this out. The first one I think was the, this one has all the red on it. You know, the only thing I'm scared of now, because all the stories that I've seen of like aliens coming into people's bed and they can't move, like sleep. That's what? what? I'm terrified. I don't know about that. Okay, here we go. We're dropping into the. This is the clearest one. There, that's Whoa. a helicopter? That's is that a helicopter? Whatever it is that Homestead Howe captured on camera, it does not look like a helicopter or an airplane at all. Doesn't look like anything I've ever and seen. even if this were to be a long exposure picture, I don't know if a helicopter look at would all the lights look along like the this, top. but I'm not too sure. I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think Homestead Howe captured on camera? Could it just be a helicopter or an airplane in a long exposure photograph? Or could it be something else entirely? I, What's your take? I think it could be something else entirely. It could be like a government aircraft of some in kind that we don't know world, about, but I think life it's can be very much stressful. And to get away from this stress, sometimes people choose different kinds of activities during the weekend, one of them being camping. Just so you have an idea, 50 million people choose to go camping every year just in the US alone. Wow. That's a lot of people. And I guess that most people go camping because they want to get away from this stressful life in search for a peaceful and quiet moment. But sometimes things aren't that peaceful and quiet <laughs> in the middle of the woods. That was a screaming. Like a woman or something. That was a, that was a female screaming. Sometimes strange and mysterious things occur and very rarely they are captured on camera. This is sort of what happened with Caden and a couple of friends when they decided to go camping in Arizona. Now Caden has about 127,000 followers. That's a lot. And his videos are mainly focused on daily vlog type videos. None of them are actually focused on strange or mysterious things. However, in this specific video, Caden went camping with a couple of friends and found himself face to face with a very strange situation. From what I understand, they had just set up camp when they started hearing a strange noise. And this is what they caught on camera. That was a screaming. Or like a woman or something. That was a, that was a female This guy needs to chill. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Oh my God, Phil's After posting part one of this video, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users were divided. While some believe that this could be a mountain lion, which is sort of a common thing when you're yeah. in the woods, some believe that this could actually be a skinwalker type of creature or something like that. This is until he posted a part two of his camping experience, and things started to get stranger and stranger, and this is what happens they next. say that foxes okay. sound a lot like a woman screaming too I don't think there's any foxes in Arizona though I don't know dude that sounds like some haunted dude what happened to the other steel target After approaching the area where they believe the mysterious screams are coming from, they start noticing strange things all around them. They also notice a couple of bottles here and there. This is when something even creepier happens and they caught it all on camera. One right there on the ground. On the ground. Is what? That right there. What the f is that? Is that that? No. Some kind of like a stick figure hanging there. Like a doll. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you get to see it? No. Well, neither did I, nor Caden and his friends. It was actually one of his subscribers who pointed out something strange. If we brighten up the video, we can actually see what appears to be some sort of humanoid figure okay. lurking from behind one of the trees. It appears that they were not all alone, after all. Now some internet users left comments saying that it could be a barn owl, yeah. while others state this could actually be a cryptid or an unknown creature of some sort 
mostly because of the way it moves. Now I'm not pretty sure what's going on here, but I know that if we take everything in this video into consideration, it all points out that there's something far more sinister going on, and I'm not sure why or what. In your opinion, do you think that this video could be a prank of some sort, or is it the real deal? I don't think it's a prank. I think there might be an explanation now, I don't for know it, about but you, I don't but know. Going camping all alone late at night in the woods isn't exactly the best of idea, unless, of course, you are a very experienced camper. There are many things that can happen, from getting lost in the woods to coming face to face with a bad intentioned human being, the list goes on. The thing is, there are a number of people out there who would include another thing to this list, and that would be coming face to face with Sasquatch or Bigfoot type I would creatures. do it now that I'm older All over in the, the summertime, world, there are not in the winter time. Of supposed encounters with this tall humanoid being that people call Sasquatch or Bigfoot. And to be honest, make sure I was there is little to no plenty proof of food and water of and it. stuff. But the little proof that there is, is enough for us to scratch our heads and keep us awake at night. Oh my god, no. That. In this video, for instance, originally uploaded by the Music Memory Lane on YouTube, a channel that does not exist anymore, Lucas and Jerome spot what appears to be Bigfoot just behind one of the trees. Moments before they can actually get closer to it, something happens and they run. Hey! Kill! Hey! Oh! F Very strange noise. Seems to be coming from some kind of an animal. Now Chris Dickinson lives in Oklahoma and runs the YouTube channel known as Sooner Sasquatch. And he is in constant search for what he calls the Sasquatch people. And mostly all of his videos are him in the middle of the woods camping in search for evidence of the existence of these creatures. And I would say that in some videos Chris was able to capture some compelling evidence. In this specific video that we're about to watch, Chris was annoyed by something he heard late at night in his campsite. He leaves the campsite for just a brief moment to check the surroundings. And this is what happens. There's something over here. It smells like something. Stinks. I'm by myself in pitch dark. Pretty All good night no vision. Source. All I have is this night vision camera that I'm trying out. Works really good. Chris left his tent with a night vision camera and a not so good flashlight because he heard some sort of commotion happening just next to him. When he reached this specific place, he says that he feels this awful smell. Now at this specific moment, if I were Chris, I would have left this place and probably gone home. The thing is, Chris stayed there in hopes of capturing something on camera. But what happens next will chill you to the bone. When I was, as I was walking out, there was some commotion over here. So I came over here, and it smells like it smells like a freaking animal. Hmm. Oh, that moved. Oh. Uh -huh. Did you see that? What appears to be a humanoid figure can be seen lurking and watching Chris silently just behind one of the trees. Yeah. And if you watch closely, you can actually see a breath of warm air escaping the creature's face in the cold night. 
whatever's going on here, Chris realizes that he's not alone and that he's being watched, and he gets out of there as fast as possible. After watching this video countless times, I still can't make out exactly what is no, it that I'm looking at. I can't either. All I know is that for a brief moment, it looks as if it's a head with two dark eyes. Whatever's going on here, it could be Sasquatch or maybe something else. Whatever this thing is, it gives me the chills. I don't think I don't it looks like Sasquatch. Why. It looks like something else to me. Maybe a skinwalker or something. One of Chris's subscribers by the name of Earth Traveler left a comment saying, that at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, something is peering out through the branches, then moves the branches aside and moves yeah. back, and then appears out again, and that he sees something human-shaped. Alabama Sisters Paranormal says that she sees a huge canine head, but there seems to be a smaller one or maybe it is just higher up in the tree. What do you think is going on here? Is it possible that Sooner Sasquatch actually caught evidence of the existence of something like a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot? Or is it maybe something completely different here? What's your take? I don't know. You know, what creeps me out most about like if I was out in the woods and stuff like that isn't coming across some kind of predator or something like that. It would be coming across some kind of cult out there doing some kind of rituals or something. Now one thing is to camp on top of a mountain or in the middle of the woods just next to your car where you can reach it at any time if you'd like to and just leave. The thing is, if you're camping at a small island on a lake, things will be a little bit different if you need to leave for whatever reason. This is the case with Ruben Mockery who was camping on a lake and it was really late at night and Ruben and a couple of friends of his were having a really good time and enjoying their moment. Alright boys, this is camping 2010 with uh, Trevor and Jeremy and Tom that I can't hardly see because it's really dark. I can't find the light on this thing, dude. Hello. It's just kind of, I see Trevor waving, okay. Can I get my phone? Let's see me get up and get fire. Oh, oh. That, that's there he is, Tom. We're gonna do some rope swing mad. This is until Ruben noticed something really strange in the woods just next to them. And this is what they caught on camera. Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy booted. <laughs> is that a full moon? Guys, what is that? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's... What's what, brother? Seriously, guys, there's something I, really, I seriously saw something over there. Dude, Tom, there did you not see it? Dude, there whatever. Was there for like two Jeremy, minutes. Trevor, dude, it was over there. Dude, whatever, man. Man, dude, put some more wilderness fire. I am not going to sit here Weird. with this like, thing. Dude, I'm telling you, it was like, it was there what? for like, like two seconds. Dude, it is Ruben spots what appears to be two red eyes staring back yeah. at him in the middle of the woods. And he immediately feels as if there's something wrong. He tells his friends, which do not believe him at first. It's when they get up to check it out that things take a turn, and this is what happens that next. Looked like yes, an alien. There was, yeah. Jeremy. But the Tom and I both saw it, dude. It is it probably a squirrel. Nuts. It was nuts. It was I don't know. Man. It's not a squirrel. What'd you say it was a squirrel? But it, okay. Okay. A woodland creature. Okay, what squirrel would look like that, Tom? It, it's an animal. Okay. We're in the woods. Go figure. Uh, hey, Tom. Guys. What? Oh my God! What is that? Oh my God! That's it! That's it! I t oh my gosh! Oh, oh. Uh, what is it? I don't know. Oh crap! Oh my God! Oh my God! What appears to be a tall humanoid figure with red eyes runs directly at Ruben and his group of friends that now completely baffled run towards the boat as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Get in, get in, I get don't... in, guys. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, okay. Where's, where's the keys? I don't know. Seen it. Where's, where's Tom at? Where's Tom? Where's Tom? 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 Are you alright? Thank God, are you okay? Dude, I think I lost it. I don't know. I think it's right behind me. I'm not sure. What is it, dude? What is it? I don't it? know. I you need to jump. Come on, get in here with us. You'll have to jump. Come on, get to... not jump. This is too high. Dude, if you don't jump, it's going to get you. You have to jump. 
Huh. Come on, Tom. Come on, swim, man. Swim, Tom, swim. Oh, oh my God, did you see it? No. No, we've not seen it. Afraid that this thing, whatever it is, might be actually following them, Tom and his friends all get together at their boat to get the heck out of there as fast as possible. This is when this tall humanoid being makes itself apparent once again, and they try to capture it on camera, and this is what happens next. Oh Wait, what is... Dude, what is... Oh my gosh, dude, did you see that? Thank oh God, God you're trying to man. It's the same thing we've been seeing. Let's get out of here. Let's find out what that thing was. Dude, it's up there, look. How are you, man? We gotta go, like, right now. Now. There it is. Did you see it? Do you see it? No, no, hold on. Oh my goodness. That is, Dude, oh I my god! about to jump in the water. Are you serious? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Go! <laughs> it's chasing the boat, Tom! Go! Oh my goodness. Go! 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 Whatever this eerie humanoid creature is, Ruben and his friends were able to capture some of it on camera. The thing is, if this video is real or not, it is very hard to say. Being that it was late at night, the camera yeah. quality isn't that good, and it was kind of shaky well, and blurred at certain moments. However, what I do know is that there are several videos and reports out there of people who have actually encountered a humanoid creature with glowing red eyes. For instance, in West Virginia in 1966, there was a humanoid that's creature real, known that's as the scary as hell. and he was reportedly seen by several people and was even talked about in several newspaper articles. These, for example, are some of the videos where a similar creature is shown. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye with my movement. Hold up. The eyes again. Dude, is that a person? Oh, we should Okay, okay, okay. Oh my hell. Did you lock the door? In your opinion, what do you think truly happened that night with Ruben Mockery and his friends while camping? Was it maybe an elaborate hoax or is it the real deal? And what do you think about the supposed sightings of the Mothman and all of these reports from people all over the world who supposedly seen this mysterious and strange red-eyed right humanoid creature? All I gotta say, if, is that, if that was a hoax, that was really well done. There is a very big difference between camping all on your own and camping with a group of people. When you're all on your own, things tend to be a little bit more tense and you have to pay attention to every single step that you take. When you're with a group of people, usually time goes by faster, it's a little bit more enjoyable and you'll easily forget that you're in the middle of the woods and that anything That's at all true. can happen at any moment. And I guess this is exactly the case with a YouTube channel by the name of TKing741 who was camping in the middle of the woods with a group of people enjoying their time. When all of a sudden this happens. Look at the lovely fire we have here with no fish on top of it. Hardly any wood left. Thanks to the That's genius good. fishermen here. Food goes in there, huh? That's, That's like the last the job we have for our Mr. Fire. Camera boy. I'm on, I'm on we are going to be in trouble. Okay, As you can see, the group is enjoying their time. They had just set up a mm -hmm. fire to eat something when something completely unexpected was caught on camera. Check this out. You couldn't catch that if, if I... Dude, I got my knife right here. <laughs> that thing's pocket knife. Oh, whoa! 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 You guys are letting me there to die? What, what, what was that? that? Oh. <laughs> What appears to be some sort of creature is caught creeping up on them 
and one of the group members noticed it first. They are able to capture a glimpse of this creature. Whoa! And to this day, no one knows exactly what this is. Now, the video was recorded, if I'm not mistaken, 12 years ago, and the camera quality isn't that good, so it makes it really hard for us to identify what this is. Now, some internet users that stated looks like a that gremlin this could actually something. be a koala. However, koalas do not have tails, and in this video, you can actually see this creature has a tail of some sort. This was noticed by other internet users, who state also that this is some other type of creature. But because the video quality isn't exactly very good, it's very difficult to affirm what exactly this thing is. Not only that, I don't think a koala would have scared the group of people as good as it did. Right. In the video, you can see they're all very scared and they don't know exactly what this thing is, well, even though they And are they in Australia or New Zealand or something? No, I'm not really sure have where this video here. was recorded. All I know is that back in the 1990s, very close to when this video was recorded, there was a legend of the supposed chupacabra that began nah. when goats and chickens turned up dead in Puerto Rico. The folk tale spread through Mexico and the US. There isn't exactly a consensus to how the chupacabra looks like. Some say it is a coyote with horrible skin, and others describe it as a grey lizard-like creature with large eyes. All I know is that in this video there were many internet users stating that this looks like a gremlin and it sounds yeah. like a lizard. Now I'm not too sure if I agree with that, but even so, if this isn't a koala, what could it be? What's your take? I've heard say that the chupacabra is just a myth. When venturing that yourself it's actually into a the coyote woods, with mange, definitely really, really bad mange. To have a relaxing and a joyful time. Just so you have an idea, researchers say that the smell of nature alone can help boost psychological well-being. For me, and I guess for many I people out it. there, that's enough of an excuse to get out of the big city during the weekends and just relax a little bit. But a few days ago, I was camping in Sun River, and what I thought would be a good location was over before. the side of the road in like this forest area and sleep, which I thought no one was really around, uh, turned into. Uh, but sometimes venturing into the woods doesn't go as expected, and things turn out to be the opposite of relaxing. And I guess this is exactly what happened with Noah, who was all alone, deep in the woods, in Sun River, Oregon. He was inside his truck late at night and was just about to go to sleep when all that of must a sudden be on the this coast. happens. I've never heard of Sun River. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. Probably like two in the morning. And he just keeps walking around. After a few minutes noticing that there was someone walking around his truck at 2 a.m. in the morning, Noah states that where he parked, there was absolutely no one around. Which, in my opinion, sometimes isn't the smartest decision no. if you're not prepared or all alone. And after a few moments of silence, Noah thinks he's in the clear. However, things take a turn, and this is what happens next. Literally touching my truck. How am I supposed to get him away? He's literally, he's literally walking. I'd be saying something. I'd be yelling, get the hell out of here. Okay. On my truck. I don't think he knows that there's anyone in here. I have a weapon. Get the hell out of here is what I'd be yelling. He's just trying to make sure that no one's there and he's gonna try and rob the freaking thing. Around my truck. I'm gonna try to see if I can flash my light to get him scared. So he runs away. There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I stopped. After several tense moments of someone trying to get in Noah's truck, 
he's able to make it through the night. And the next day, he shows his viewers how his truck ended up. So I'm back home, this is the day after. Um, he was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until mm -hmm. I got home. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches. As you can see, there are hand marks all over Noah's truck. And the thing is, some maybe of the scratches it wasn't you human. noticed maybe on it his was car a Bigfoot. were not there before. So everything indicates that there's a very good chance that this person or was trying just to break in his car. Or maybe find a way in. And I guess it was when he turned on the flashlight that whomever this person was, fleed. In your opinion, should have Noah done something differently that night? And have you ever gone through a similar situation? Well, I wouldn't have been laying there being quiet. I would have been yelling and screaming. So. Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check. Well, that was pretty cool. That was a really good video. I liked that one a lot. That's from the channel called That Is Impossible. So check it out. And I hope you all have a merry, merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate during this holiday season. And now it's time for a joke. Did you hear about the dyslexic group of devil worshippers? They sold their soul to Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag mean gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.